haven't even started the video yet and I've already spilled water. Hello, I'm Rachel Joyify and welcome to another Crafting and Chatting. Hello, welcome back. Welcome. I don't know if you're back or not. Hello. <laughs> a couple weeks ago, I bought some watercolors. So I thought today I was just gonna try to watercolor because I don't know how to do things. <laughs> I honestly do not know anything about watercoloring. I don't know techniques. I don't know what to draw. So I just got some fun scrap paper and I'm just gonna watercolor some things and we're gonna chat, okay? Yeah. We got some lovely grid paper. I, what should I draw? I think I'm gonna try and draw a leaf or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to work with this stuff. We have color down. Color down! So I think it was last week already where this guy from LA, Mike Paisley, came and talked to us and had a workshop and it was so great. He's one of the creative directors at Digital Twigs in LA and it is so amazing. You need to look them up, digitaltwigs.com look them up, look at their stuff. One of the things that they have done is um, making the intro for Good Mythical Morning. When I had heard ahead of time, when they had made the GMM intro, I was going to go to whatever this guy was talking about. I don't, I don't know how to, <laughs> I can't. I can do this, I can do this, even though I'm not good, I can do this. And so obviously the main part of his talking and stuff was like digital work and it was so interesting. <laughs> and so Mike Paisley, he went through kind of his creative journey from like making things in high school or college, I think, up until now. And it's just so weird and amazing to like see the transformation like from an actual person who made just like silly videos in college and now he's making good mythical morning intros. And so we talked about a lot of like technical things like how to build a website or how to build a video reel, which I feel like maybe I should do, but I I, <laughs> I still kind of have no clue what I'm doing. And one of the things he said that really like struck with me was the phrase, be a machete, not a Swiss army knife. And so, you know, machetes, they serve, you know, very few purposes, but they serve very well. Whereas a Swiss army knife can technically do a lot of things, but you know, it's, it's not good for hacking through the forest. <laughs> and mainly we were talking about it in terms of the creative world. And he was talking about this and it was like, this is me. Because when he was younger, he was trying to be a Swiss army knife. He would do everything for his videos and he didn't want to let anyone touch his work. Look at the leaf. Look at the leaf. Like, as long as I've made videos, it's been me. It's like, I'm the writer, I'm the producer, I'm the wardrobe, I'm the props, I'm the makeup, I'm the actor, I'm the editor, I'm the exporter. That's probably not the right word, but you, you get what I mean. Like, I like doing this entire process on my own. Like, I film, I set up all the stuff, I don't let anyone else, like, set it up for me, and... So yeah, Mike was talking about this and I was like, I relate to this so much where I am kind of afraid to let other people do work for me. And so I've kind of been training myself lately in the past couple years to be a Swiss army knife. Like I want to do everything. A recent example of this is things like design and uh, animation. <laughs> the animation at the beginning of this video was made by the amazing Meg's Creations, which I have no clue how she is able to make this. And I just long to be able to make these things and I want to make them as good as her and as all these other people that make animations and stuff, but I just can't. And it's just a very big pride thing that I don't want to admit that I can't do something and I don't want to ask for help from other people. And so I want to learn it on my own. I don't, I don't want to ask other people. Especially creatively, it's hard for me to accept that I can't do something. <laughs> but thankfully, you know, I got rid of some pride and I asked Megan for her help on the, the intro, which I love so much. Oops. I was just gonna do like a gradient, but it's, it's not really working. Recently, I've started to draw and I was not someone who drew at all when I was younger. I maybe drew like a horse occasionally. I loved horses and it's almost the reverse of what I've been saying, but I didn't really draw because I didn't think I could be as good as anyone else. If I couldn't be a machete for this particular thing, I just might as well not do it at all. Which raises the interesting like balance between wanting to be a machete 
and trying new things and kind of having some skills in different things. Like I shouldn't still be trying new things. Just because I'm good at one thing doesn't mean I can't try different things, but it's just kind of the specialization and trying not to overwork yourself and expect everything from yourself because then you water yourself down. Hey, you water yourself down. I was so afraid that water was gonna fall. Hey look, I got a gradient. <laughs> What should we make now? Ooh, I'll show you what people look like when I draw them. Yeah, so it's drawing. It was, I don't know, it was so weird because I just didn't want to draw because I just saw everyone else drawing and I just kept comparing myself to their drawings and like I could never do realistic drawings. I don't know how people who can draw realistically make them not look creepy because whenever I draw realistic people, they just look creepy and so I <laughs> kind of developed a more exaggerated characters. That's generally what my people look like. They have very big eyes. You know, you can add some eyeliner on the corner. And you know, they have nice big eyes and a big smile. And before I started drawing, I just started noticing all these different styles of drawings and paintings and it just blows my mind how amazing people are at what they do and it's awesome. Oh, and like digital twigs. Let's tie it up. Digital twigs is kind of part real stuff, part CGI, and it's like stop motion, and it's so, so cool. I want to watch all of their progress videos because it is just crazy how they can make all these things. And something Mike was saying is that their progress videos get almost as much attention as their like actual finished work, which makes so much sense because people love seeing things being made, especially something as complex as their stop motion, part real, part CGI stuff. Like I couldn't imagine ever doing that on my own. So seeing someone else work on it is fascinating. I just have mad respect for people who can do innovative things and do them well and oh, I just, it's just great. It was just great. I learned so many things from Mike Paisley talking, especially since I do things on my own. I just don't like hear advice really from other people, like specific things I could do for a video reel, like not making it longer than three minutes because he said if he sees a video reel that's longer than three minutes, he won't watch it. So that's good to know. So I think what I learned is, you know, you, you gotta ask for help. <laughs> you gotta be willing to ask for help and willing to put yourself out there and stuff and willing to, expand but yet specialize. And that's kind of why I stopped making videos a couple years ago. I kind of made them at the beginning of high school, but the videos I wanted to make, I was unable to do on my own. So it was very difficult for me to continue doing them because I would have needed to ask for help or ask for actors or ask for people to film and I didn't want to do that. I didn't really have editing programs so it was just kind of difficult for me to sustain on my own. <laughs> but now look at me sustaining on my own. Ha 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 ha. Watercolor is fun. I don't know why I've never done watercolor before. Probably because I was too scared to try. Oh. What is this? Look at that. It looks so bad. <laughs> so let's look through Rachel's gallery de watercolor. Up first we have very excited happy eyeliner girl. Next we have a leaf falling by a sunset or gradient. <laughs> and then here we have I put way too much black on my brush and I needed to get rid of it. <laughs> and last we have the night sky. So message of the video, try new things, but also be a machete, not a Swiss Army knife, because then you can get really good at something and you don't have to water yourself down and you can ask other people for help. Asking people for help is great because it makes them feel good, it makes you feel good because you didn't have to attempt something you don't know how to do. Oh, I just, ch I just choked at the end of that word. But also try new things because it's really fun and it's sometimes not as scary as you think it is. Sometimes it's scary, but uh, you know, most of the time it's not that scary. You don't have to be good at everything because that sets unrealistic standards for yourself. Just be happy. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah. <laughs> so I hope that you enjoyed my spiel about creativity and stuff like that and you know my attempt at watercoloring and I hope that you have a great day. What should I do for the outro? Oh. Let's draw a little rose. There's my rose. A little rose for you.